W is in the chat. W is in the chat. chat. Everybody's good in the chat right now. But episode 166, it's us a live podcast, baby. Mother, thank you most of the podcast out here. Call this episode Game Night. Game, game night, night, my <laughs> favorite night. night. This is Game Night. Game Night. All right, so Jack, Jack, please, okay. please explain to us. All right, you guys, what is going on here? So I have a game called Let's Get Closer. Literally, that's what it's called, and okay, it's okay. a game where you can play. All right, close but not too close. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So what's the objective? So the objective is to play this game and it's just questions that you normally wouldn't ask, you know, on your day-to-day conversations, okay. but it's just questions that need to be asked. Okay. So there's levels. There's green which is close, yellow which is closer, and red which is closest. Now I've gone through these questions a little bit. Okay. So some that seem close might actually be really close than, you know, more than what we think of. Oh, okay, okay. But I think it's a great game to get to know each other and honestly it's a great game for friends and family. Like these are just conversations that we need to have that we don't have enough. So Wait, pause. I- Message from our sponsor, shop at Shop Segura, <laughs> ATGL15. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a hot discount going on right now. Damn. As long as it's hot. No, as long as it's hot. The code is live. That's everybody on, on TikTok live. Appreciate everybody still with us right now. Shout out. Cup it up for all of our... <laughs> y'all are doing amazing. Y'all are showing us some amazing love. Everybody that's on YouTube. Everybody that's Instagram. Just following, liking, sharing. Guys, we appreciate you guys to the end of time for changing our lives in the most positive way for giving us opportunity to be here. And without my boys, Jose, I got Pepe over there and we have Jack Jack. That's been a great, great part of our, our team. You know, she's, all right. The, she's all right. She's oh. all right. <laughs> she's all right. Cash me outside. This, this How about is, it? <laughs> this is why we're doing a team bonding because we need it. We, we need, need it. bonding. We need it. And you know, that's what I was saying. Like, we've done a few episodes before, but I don't think that we can go wrong with these questions. Like, we, we spend a lot of time together. Yep. So let's let's, let's it. dive let's into it. We can't see Jose in this phone, though. We need uh, to push it back yeah, a little like, bit. That one's Maybe facing Jack Jack. Maybe if you. Face push them back a little bit more. Bit more? Push a little bit more back. I think they're just too close. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. live right now. And yeah, this if, is... if you're watching us live right now, there is a nice little discount on shopsegura.com, which we just the added same. the cutest little yeah, top. should be good there. Yeah. And if you haven't, okay. if no. you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you just use code ATTL at checkout. Exactly. That so always... still a little bit of love. A little bit of love. I'll go salvo. I'll, I'll, hey, in this economy, no. in this economy, we'll no, take it. Discount is a good discount. Dude, it was funny the other day. I went to the gas station and I want to go buy some, some takis mm, and okay. two Red Bulls for my boy. And you know, I think the total was like fifteen. I gave him a twenty, and the guy was like, "Man, I remember a time where twenty bucks used to last us a whole week. Now it doesn't even last us one transaction." I was like, <laughs> "I felt that. I felt Facts. that." Dude, one of my coffees is like ten bucks. Dude, the other that was expensive. The other day, I went to Target and I bought yeah. three things for like forty bucks. I said, <laughs> "Oh, I hate going to Target now." Why? <laughs> but I'm dangerous at Target. That one. I you like don't I'm go to Target knowing what you want. No, we just go for You're the yeah, different. Target right. tells you what you need. So for this game, mm-hmm. are we going left to right or right to left? Who's or no, no, wait. Ladies go first. Ladies yeah. first. Uh, Ladies no, go I'm first. asking the question. <laughs> Ladies go first. I'm no, no, no. The... Everybody's gonna pick All one right. and answer. Um, at the end of the day, I am a lady. Of course, so, ladies, okay. Go first. Let's dive right into it. I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to start with a green one, just because. What does the green mean? What is green it? is close. Close. Uh, Introductory questions that build trust and make you more comfortable with each other. She's not comfortable with this. <laughs> all right, all right. We're, we're pretty comfortable, but. <laughs> we're going back. <laughs> all right, let's start. And el que nos toque, nos toque. Vámonos. We're answering what it is. All right, question number one for me. What do you value most in a friendship or in a relationship? Ooh. What do I value most? In I think the first thing that comes to my head is me being able to be me unapolog- unapologetically and shamelessly 
if I can be myself 100% around you and you're not going to judge me for anything that I do, you're a keeper and you're a for lifer. That's what I value the most. Yeah, snap, All right, all right, all right. Everybody in the chat, make sure we're snapping thumbs up. (laughs) And I'm going to pass it to my left. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a green one, too. I'm going to do a green one, one? too. Everything you own in the bars to the left. In the closet. Beyonce don't That's lie. your stuff. <laughs> if I was an animal, <laughs> what animal would I be and why? <laughs> Damn. A tiger because you're fierce. Rawr. Rawr. Damn, I don't know. <laughs> you would never have to think about that. You I know, thought, I've never thought about... You never thought no. about like... in. In your afterlife, if you would reincarnate as an animal, what would it be? Or like a spirit no. animal? I'd be a monkey. <laughs> okay. Like bananas or what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would it, what would it be? Boys. If I was an animal, what animal would I be and why? Yeah. Damn. I never thought about this, honestly. Like, it's one of those questions where it's like, what animal would I be? Or what animal would I want to be? You know? What do you want to be? I like to be some type of bird, just be able to fly. I like to travel, so it'd be nice to get from point A to point B, Indeed. as I wish. You know, bye bye Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Delta's not always available, so if I was a bird, I'd be able to fly. All right, just because they both went to close, I want to get closer to Jose right now. Yes, okay. sir. So we're right, we're right. gonna go. Wait, so is this right. for Jose? Me. Not me. Me. Okay. We're gonna go this way, that way. So right, we're gonna right. go. We're gonna Talk go with yellow. Me. This is yellow. Como? Yel? Yellow. 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 Amarillo. Yellow. All right. Wild card. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're lying. Trust fall. Board, both participants I face the you. same way. <laughs> One in front of the other. The person in front of them must cross their arms and fall backwards. The goal is for the person in front to trust the person behind them to catch them. That's like a dead ass trust fall. That's dead ass trust fall. Are you trusting with that, huh? <laughs> I mean, that's not, really a, that's not really a question, but we could. We'll fit that one in. Yeah, we'll, we'll fit, fit that, that one, one in, in another in. time. Yeah. This is also <laughs> no this space. whole game is about trust. On so, the table. all right, same thing. Yellow. We're still getting closer. All right, this one says, "What is the most painful thing that happened to you in your life?" GGS, it's over. I know, mas. I mean, we it know it. So Some of us know it. Yeah. Um, I think the most painful. No, nah, I don't. I don't think. The most painful thing that ever happened to me in my life was losing my loved ones. Losing my best friend, losing my grandpa, losing my uncle. Losing people that I dearly love to the end of day, to the end of time. I think there's no greater pain than losing someone and watching that casket close. There's nothing that can ever take that. Uh, There's nothing that can ever take that pain away is remembering the day... At the class, the casket closed forever, and seeing them go down, down to the ground. So, yeah, no, that's pretty painful. Jesus Christ, man, it's whatever's in there, <laughs> whatever's in there. Yeah, <laughs> drink. Then he passes over now to, to Jose. Uh, Jose, 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 con ganas, Jose. <laughs> Y'all know me. I want to be the closest. Oh, oh, he's I feeling mean, feisty. I'm, I'm close to the ground, too. So Maybe he might need this red cup. <laughs> the most reserved guy. All right, all right, all right. The most quiet one. Déjalo. No, see, it's okay. Gabby? It's okay, what, what do you dream about the most often? Hmm. All right, what I dream about the most is being, being happy and making others happy. Let me explain. Like... I will, I, like, my biggest dream is to help out my parents and for them to never have to work again. So I feel like that's what I dream about. Like, how do I, how can I achieve my happiness by helping them out? That's, like, something you think about on the daily? Like, no, every day? That is, yeah. I, I think about just what can I do today to get a step closer to be able to just retire them. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy how like we'll live day to day like like just day to day, and there's yeah. these little like thoughts in your head that's just like really deep, and they're always just mm-hmm. kind of lingering there. Yeah, like I how think. can how can I speed up the process to get? Yeah, yeah. how can I speed up the pro- the process to being happy? Not saying right now it's completely bad, but hey, there's some things that could be done too. 
you know, be there. So always be better. Valid, valid, valid. Back to back to me. Back to me. All right, all right. I'm gonna feel. Oh, I'm gonna do this to myself, but I'm feeling spicy. So I almost para la roja. Red to match. Red to to match. Red to match my outfit. (laughs) Closest. What is the most memorable toy you played with when you were little? <laughs> it's a genuine question. She said when she was little. She was little. She's like, I'm still little. I never really, gr- I didn't grow that much. Didn't grow but I didn't, I'd, I'm 5'3 on a good day. Okay, okay, okay. What would you do when you grow up? I never grew up. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. We're back in business. In thoughts, what was the most Im- memorable toy you played with when you were little? I think this says a lot about, you know, your childhood and stuff. Um, most memorable toy that I... You know, I can't think of a toy specifically that I had, but I remember when we were younger, my mom used to babysit this girl who mm. her parents were like doctors, and we would go to her house and we were on the same age, and she had... All the Barbie sets you could imagine. She had the house. She had the cashier. And I just remember going to her house and being like, this girl has it all. And I remember like just having the time of my life at her house because she literally had every single toy. I mean, I had toys too, but like, no, a esta muchacha no le, no le faltaba yeah, nada. Like y a mí tampoco nunca me faltó nada. But it's just, you know, like those those kids that just had those like, yeah, like extra had, toys that if you had like the gaming sets oh they, they had, had the a, new action oh. figures you're like dude i want to be there i want to be over that person's house yeah yeah and i mean like you're not gonna see we didn't we didn't have a lot of money but like nunca me faltó nada but i remember going to her house and being like this girl is living the life and her house had stairs and i remember <laughs> thinking that was so cool because i was, I was like oh she's so rich so i was like have you see yeah, <laughs> they had a pool too. They had a pool, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like she lives the best life, Man. and you knew someone was good when they had snacks in the in the cabinet. The good snacks. They got the good snacks. The good the snacks. Yeah, the not the, the not the generic the friends. <laughs> <laughs> like pretzels? Who the hell wants to eat yeah. pretzels? Yeah. Hey, pretzels. pretzels are good. I'm like, I don't mind pretzels. <laughs> no one likes pretzels. Good. I like Gargan. pretzels. And when Gargan. you eat munchies, those are the one thing that you leave to the last. <laughs> Do a yellow. Oh, we're taking baby steps. What is my guilty pleasure? You know what? <laughs> I love a good trash TV show. What kind of <laughs> trash TV show? Summer House. Just like Have you ever watched time. Summer House? <laughs> it's about a group of friends that go to the Hamptons and they party all summer. Like, That's it. like Jersey Shore? That's- Kind of, kind of. So okay. Jersey Shore too. Yeah, but the cameras ain't filming. They should be filming. So MTV, Bravo, anyone wants to hit us up, hit us up. We'll film a good TV show. But we'll yeah. fight just for the views. Cheers. I know. We'll fight. We for not even. For you the want views. the plot? We got the plots. We got the plot. We, we got, got the plots. plots. So that's pretty plot. much my guilty pleasure. Your yeah. trash TV. Trash a TV good shows. trash TV show. That's what you do on your spare time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is one I think called Florabama. I've never watched that. It was like people from the Everglades, and they were just. It was like a Jersey Shore, but from from the south, from the down south, from the oh, south, from the down south, from the down south. south. The down south. The, I love the color red, so we're gonna keep it closest. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna keep it red so for the red flags. I'm taking baby steps. How do you re- relieve stress? Mm. Tell me. <laughs> I, I want to know. <laughs> um, I think it. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, say it with your chest, my boy. <laughs> say what you really feel, because let's be real. The most organic, the most organic podcast. <laughs> it starts with a man, it ends with an wella. Oh my god! Oh man, let's go. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> nah, boys, I swear. all seriousness, all seriousness. How do I relieve stress? <laughs> nah. For me, definitely lately, it's been finding time to either make it to the gym and, you know, go on a treadmill walk, be in the sauna, listen to some music. Or honestly, I found a lot of peace. May sound a little weird to some people listening or whatever, but for me, it's laying down on the couch, playing a song, a a song with just no words and just sitting in my thoughts. 
and just thinking. Letting the, let the thoughts flow, let everything flow. By the time that song is done and my tears are, are running down, ando bien. Like mirando al techo status? Mirando al techo status. Sounds kind of Andale. triste. No, you uh, know yeah, what? it's a little, oh, it sounds a lot of triste. Yeah, but, but like, I think it's like when, when you constant, it kind of like what Jose had uh, answered before. When you live in a constant, in a world where you're constantly trying to find happiness by helping others, helping out your loved ones, and being the best version of yourself for other people, you you get stressed because you're like, damn, what if A, B, and C doesn't go right? Then all this other shit is going to fall apart. For me, I find happiness when I know everything is just smooth. I think we just overthink and all the the worries what we have to do, and then that time, because I do the same thing, but it's, it's we that moment, we just don't think. Yeah, we like, just, like, like a bullshit you not. Just like a... If we're on the phone, we call each other. Hey, bro, how are you doing today? I'm never gonna lie to you, and I'll tell you. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, sorry. If you, if anybody asks me how am I doing, I'm gonna lie. Oh, I'm good. I'm chilling. Oh, but how are you really doing? I'm good. You know why? Because I gotta keep on going. I'll find my time when the day, everything stops. I can find peace, sitting in the sauna, sitting, laying down on my couch, and just being by myself. It's a comfy couch. This very is. So that's where I find, like, that's where I relieve my stress. When I get all those thoughts to let go, let them run, yeah, i Not the other one, though. <laughs> Pepe's like, pues, ¿cada quién? ¿Cada quién? ¿Cada quién? ¿Cada quién? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, is, it a, is it a vino? <laughs> well, the lotion in your restroom? <laughs> There's, like, four different lotions. I was um, I didn't even want to touch it. I was like, "Damn, I need I need lotion," but I don't know what he uses this for. So, <laughs> anyway, so Jose, he clearly he didn't use it for that. He clearly did not use it for that. All right, all right. Self love. Right. Best, form, best form of self love. Red for the red flags. The red flags, but I love the circus. <laughs> <laughs> she, she called those clowns. I love the circus. Uh, <laughs> I think this is like a question directed to somebody because it says, how would you rate our relationship on a scale of 1 to 10? So how about, how about you guys? The podcast, how would you relate? Yeah, how, how, so how would you guys re- uh, rate our relationship on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, 10 being perfect, 1 being horrible. So like negative 5. Uh. <laughs> I honestly say I think our relationship, me and you, would be a 7.5. And this is why I always say, like, that's a really good number for, like, in my opinion, because there's always room to grow. We grew enough trust in each other to be able to spend time, travel, confine in each other when things are not going right. The other part is knowing there's more to each other and just being a part of each other's life. Like, we have a lot of more life to go to. Mm -hmm. So it's like, our relationship isn't, oh, in two years, and yeah, we'll be good. Nah, bro, we're, we're going to be both old-timers getting senior citizen discounts, yeah. and we're going to be, like, 50 years down the line, and we're, like, we're at a good place. We're a good place. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I think just getting – building. I mean, I think we talked about this the previous podcast, too, two podcasts ago. You got to go through stuff in order for your friendship, your bond, your relationship to get stronger. Gracias a Dios, thank God, we've been able to live through many lives together where (laughs) from athlete to coach to coaches together to friends to now business people together and partners. And now it's just one of those things where we can work together and we can go and and be friends outside of this. Yeah. Would I change my friend group? Not one bit. I choose these people to go to war with every single motherfucking time. And if you talk shit about them, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> respectfully. Respectfully. Nah, nah, nah respectfully. Not respectfully. Disrespectfully. Disrespectfully. <laughs> but that's me. 7.5. I think we've been good. It's a pretty good score. It's a good score. It's a good score. It's a really good score. It's a C+. Plus. C. C. Plus. A C. C's get degrees. There it is. That's, that's all That's true. <laughs> if that ain't and the I truth. I never got a degree, so that's good. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, all right. All right, we, here we, we go. We, here we're, we go. We're staying spicy. Mm. We're staying spicy. Okay. What is your greatest gift or talent? Yeah, <laughs> dude. <Why? laughs> <You're... laughs> no seas. <laughs> Ma mon. Did I miss something? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a child at I'm a oh, I'm a kid at I'm a kid. I know, at, I know, I know. He playing games? He's <laughs> he he like he, the child in him child comes, comes out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A child in kid comes out. What is my greatest gift or talent? <laughs> Do you want to say maybe you should answer this? <laughs> we already know Dusko's bullshitting. <laughs> He said, no, please do. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Um, what is my greatest gift or talent? Dang. I, I honestly think. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's because you said, you said I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, what the fuck did I miss? I didn't. I don't know. I'm really lost. What? I'm a professional bullshitter. Like in all honesty, in all honesty, I think um, I and not in a bad way. I'm not like a professional bullshitter. But like, if I have to figure something out, like on the spot, like I'll figure it out. Like I will do whatever I need to do. Like I'll fake it till I make it. If you gotta I, sell that can in front of you, if I gotta sell this can right now, like I'll those. sell it. But like, you know what I mean? I just feel like. You did it earlier. I did, actually. He's I like, did. What's going on, guys? Try Mass <laughs> Energy Drinks. It has so many little carbs. No, but. It has 35 calories. It's delicious. And it's got electrolytes. But I wasn't she lying. Literally I wasn't lying. Sold it. I wasn't lying. No, you weren't. No, honestly. They really are good. Truly, my greatest gift or talent, it's hard because I never really, st- I never really think about myself. I never think about myself and like what I'm good at. But I do think that I am able to, you know, for the most part, like catch people's drifts and get along with people for the most part. Like I can start a conversation with a wall. You know what I mean? And I'm a yapper for sure. So um, I don't think anybody, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has that gift to be like social and a people person. And I think that I can do that sometimes. And that means like professional bullshitting because if it's like, Let's it's talk about the yeah, freaking right. sky. Like, yeah. I will talk about the sky like I've never freaking seen it before. Dude, so. the, the dirt, the soil that's in the front. Like, like anything. So soft and so filling and, like, honestly, just. But, but that's what I mean when I mean, like, a professional bush hitter. Like, if we're going to talk, if, we gotta, if we're going to be in a room together for, like, yeah. a few minutes, I'll make it seem like I'll find something to talk about. Because yo no voy a estar en silencio. Mm. Yo no. Ustedes que quien, pero yo no. Keep it interesting. All right, baby. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh baby's feeling Come spicy. on, red flags. Baby to the red flags. What is one thing you wish someone did or would do for you? The silence is loud. The silence is loud. Breathing is heavy. <laughs> it's because I didn't work out today. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big back. Big back problems. What is one thing I wish someone did or would do for me? Just be there for me the way that I'm there for them. Do you feel like you don't have somebody in your life? I feel like I have a couple people that are there for me, but not to the capacity that like maybe I'd like them to be. But then again, I can't put the blame on them because I'm not transparent about what I need from them. It's just at the end of the day, it falls back on me. Do you feel like they've let you down? I feel like I've never had people really be there for me that I don't want to seem like a burden. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? So that's why I don't ask for more or for anything. Do you feel like you blame yourself for them not being there for you like that? Not necessarily. No, actually, I don't think it's me. It's just I, it's one of those things that I didn't grow up with people, you know? So are you saying like for certain people, there's like you would go to the moon and back? Yeah. Like you would do the unthinkable. And I know that they wouldn't. Do and they wouldn't do that. But yeah. like, lo que tú eres capaz son muchas cosas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn. Dang, you're you're for, you're a real one. Hey, I don't know. He's a real one. <laughs> He's a real one. I think Pepe said this two episodes ago. If you find your best friends and you find those people that you want to be a part of your life, keep them. Do everything in the world to keep those people because to find quality, amazing people to come again in your life, it's second time to none. It's hard. Definitely quality versus quantity. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Especially after you invested a lot of time with each other. It's one of those things where it's like, all right, like, I know if I turn my back, these people will not do me dirty. And I hope they don't. And I know if I need them, they'll be there. And to find those type of people again, because, you know, once you have a little bit of something, people just want to take. People are takers. So as soon as you find those amazing people... All right, bro. Whatever you need, I'm gonna keep this. So let's keep it with red flags, bro. Because it's what. All it right. Is. is there something in your life that you ignore because you are not ready to face it? You got, you got blind. some deep yeah. questions. <laughs> I am blind right now. Is there something in your life? He's ignoring that, it. That you ignore because you're not ready to face it. Um. I can't protect everybody and I can't save everybody. I'm not ready to face it because that means letting go of people in a sense or letting go of the of the idea that that thing or those people will not ever be in my life after this. So I think I spent a lot of time trying to save people and try to help people and try to be there for people. And then in reality is you can't save everybody. I just you feel can't. like that fear of like letting go, like that idea, uh, yeah. like how, you, how you said. Yeah, the idea of uh, I love you and I just can't save you. But I chuckle this down back to um, I think the first card that I pulled up of losing somebody. I think for the longest time, it was that idea of what could I have done in order to prevent this? Or, and there's just, there's nothing I could have done. But, you know, one wishes you could have done something to, to prevent that outcome and that change. But no matter how much you tried, no matter how much, what you did, no matter how much you wanted to, it's just, that was God's plan and. Some way, somehow, I need to under- come to terms with it. So. He wants to save everybody. You know, in a perfect world. But we live in a world where things happen, so. This was Jose's turn, actually. Oh, really? It was Jose's turn. Right? It is Jose's turn. <laughs> I'll, I'll switch it up. All right. I'll get a yellow one this time. Oh, he said, I'm not trying to be that. <laughs> all. I, was like, I, ain't, I ain't trying to. Ain't it's trying like, I'm tired to, of it. Yeah, I'm trying to the deep questions. We're asking just a set of Q&A so right now. So what are the three wow. things we have in common? Oh. Mm. You going to ask okay. me this one? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> the love for the gym. Working out in general. Uh, being an entrepreneur. Trying to work on something for not just us, but for the people we love and we want to take care of. Love for the game. Love for the game. <laughs> and the third, the love for the sport of football. Yeah. Dang. Even though we don't. Broncos country. He's covering <laughs> <laughs> he's the, the team. Cowboy Nation, baby. Oh Even though we don't go for the same team. We got love for the sport. Love All right, love for the sport. Love for the sport. Love for the game. Love for the game. Love, love the for the game. game. All right, you guys, it's my turn to ask myself a little question, yeah. and we're going to keep it spicy. We're playing a little game for anybody who's just joining um, on close, closer, and closest. So let's do a little closest since we got everybody on here. Closest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says... Oh, dang. What is the biggest lie you have ever told? <gasps> what is the biggest lie I have ever told? And if you don't want to say it, you got to take a shot. <laughs> ah, like, got it. You don't have cups, I... you got to do it off the bottom. It was good. 
<laughs> what is no let me think let me think what is the biggest lie i ever told <laughs> all right this is gonna make me sound really heartless right now but the biggest lie i've ever told somebody is that i loved them and i didn't oh my god <laughs> If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, <laughs> yo, yo le dije a alguien que lo quería y, y yo no that, lo quería. Were you that girl that said you got dumped out after a trip? You dumped the guy after the trip? <laughs> what? Was that you? Did what you, are you talking about, Pepe? On his life? Were you the same person, the same that, person said, that said, I love you and I'll be with you forever? And then a week later, <laughs> are you the gone? person? Are you the person that changed their mind about a long-term relationship and not seeing a future with? After your trip? What are you guys talking you about? <laughs> oh my god! Did you get a free trip and then say, I don't love you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about right now. Clearly, <laughs> oh, clearly, clearly she hasn't gone live. Clearly. Clearly. It's no, she, it's la neta. It's, it's la neta. It's, it's la neta. Jack That's Jack the biggest lie. prioritizing her rest and sleep, and she's not up like us, that we have insomnia <laughs> And depression and everything, it's la and anxiety. You know? It's la verdad. It's la verdad. You guys can't tell me that you've never done that. Tell someone <sighs> que los quieres y, y en nah, realidad no los quieres. You know, it's because at that time I was having family problems. Ah, <laughs> we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna keep it real. Es lo que es. I I, I haven't. You've <laughs> never said that. Oh, am I the cold-hearted one? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I just <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> say it. I would say it's it's just, that I'm good. It's just, it's just, I think the worst lie was just the reason why to break up. That was it. <laughs> 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 but I'm not saying that I say that all the time. It's just if I have to think about it, there's people that I've like, you know, spoken with. Yeah, and then I'm yeah. like, you know what? I didn't really mean that. I didn't really mean that. I have like undiagnosed ADHD where I say stuff. And I just like say it sometimes. So that's and that's just one of them. Undiagnosed. Undiagnosed. Undiagnosed ADHD. It was is that is what it is. Hi, right, Pepe. What makes you sad? Damn. It's no, like I, I thought about it. <laughs> question. No. I know. It's like, what makes me sad? Fine. A lot of things make me sad, honestly. I'm pretty emotional. So um, you've seen those St. Jude commercials? Stop. <laughs> oh. Stop this right now. Those <laughs> always make me sad. Right off the bat, the St. Jude commercials. Yeah. Casi quiero llorar. But then, in a personal level, just knowing that my parents are going to be gone. Dude. I've thought about that. I've thought about that recently. Like, with other doctor visits, hospital visits, it's just like, damn. They're going to be gone as messed up as it sounds sooner rather than later. So, just knowing that they're going to be gone. And more, my, I'm going to be transparent. My mom, specifically. Just knowing that my mom's going to be gone one day. Just thinking about it, like, yeah. makes me emotional, and it makes me sad. Have you guys heard of that? Uh, there's this video, and I'm sure everybody, like, on the chat and everybody that's listening in uh, probably has ran into this video, and if it hasn't, I hope this this sinks in. It's like, I have to live with the fact of I need to remember you longer than I got to know you. ¿Cómo así? Say it again. I have to remember you longer than I got to know you. Or have you? And I think okay. we're, I mean, it just depends, right, on the person and what yeah. age they pass. Yeah. Because me personally, my parents are, are a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. So, in a sense, I'm probably going to miss them the same amount that I got to spend with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, maybe that doesn't apply, but just knowing that they are going to be gone and have to live 30-ish years without them yeah. kind of sucks. And it's also like, tú no conoces una vida sin ellos. Yeah. You don't know what it's like. Like, your parents... Obviously, before they had you, they had their independent life. But, like, I I don't know a life without my mom or my dad. Like, I don't know what that's like. And I don't want to know what it's like. Yeah. But um, it's scary because then it's, like, it's just something totally new that you're going to have to figure out. But how do you think life would be when your mom's not here? I don't know. I don't want to imagine. I don't want to imagine those things because I'm, like, it's just like it's it's like the cl- some of the if not the closest person that you have. What do you do? I don't I don't know what it's like to lose a parent. I mean I no. can only imagine. I think the well the question that I posted on 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 Sunday was 
if today was the last day you saw the person you love, what would you tell them? What would be that message to them? If today was the last person I saw a person that I loved. What? Is that, is that what you mind. said? What If today was the last day you, you saw the person you love, what would you tell them? If it was my mom, I'd tell her, I'm sorry I didn't make you proud the way that I wanted to make you proud and I Damn. didn't achieve everything that I wanted to achieve before you passed. Damn. That's what I would tell my mom. Because she's been my number one supporter from day one, so it just, it would suck if today was the last day with her because I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. I was deep. That was real. Went real oh, deep. Yeah. I see that. It's deep. Ooh. Ooh. It's deep. I think. Um, yeah, what would what would you tell? I think I would. I don't know exactly what I would say because it would just it would be so like you know in the point. But I think I would go along. I would want to go along the lines of like what they mean to me and like how they've impacted my life because. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I have so many things that I want to do for my family, and I want to make them proud, but, like, I think at the end of the day, like, my family would understand, like, todo lo que yo he hecho, like, we're always just kind of, we've been there for each other, but, like, I don't think that they realize the impact that they have on my life. Like, yeah. yo no sería la persona que soy yeah. sin, sin mi familia, sin mis amigos, so I would just want them to know that, like, y'all, like, I am who I am, because of you, because of what you've impacted on me. And I would say something along those lines. Probably. Who knows? But. Damn. Damn. That's good. That was a great answer, guys. Pip is like humbly. No, that was definitely, <laughs> I think that was definitely just, it's coming from the heart. I think even having to think of an uh, answer to those type of questions. It's, it's I don't think we insane. could ever, like, really Seems imagine what it's like. Yeah. All right, let's switch it up. We went from a red flag to a yellow flag. Almost we, still, we still love the circus. And that was a yellow card. That was a and yellow that was, I'm card. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. Like, that should have been, like, a black card or something. <laughs> like, that was bad. What are you addicted to? Ooh. Ooh. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> um... The, as they say, addiction is very, it's harming not just to yourself but to others. My addiction is wanting more. My addiction is I want more than what I have already. Ahorita me va bien. I have everything I need. I want more. The bad part to it is how much it affects the people around you, because the more you, the more that you want, the, the less. Of you that they have the less time that you have with your loved ones spending time with your grandparents with your parents with your sisters your siblings uh with your loved ones your kids because you're just like this is not enough i need more so the addiction is i want to better myself and i don't seem to find that <sighs> i don't seem to find that complacency of like i'm good here this is all i need it's uh, I want more. I got my, I got my ten thousand. I want twenty. I got the twenty. I want the fifty. I got the fifty. I want the hundred, and more and more and more. And it's like, when is it enough? And and I can't figure it out. I've, thankfully, I've been succeeding and it's been going well. But even when it goes very well, it's, oh well, you should stop. This is good. Keep this. Protect this. And it's like, no, I need more. I want more. It's like that that uh, saying from from Batman. It's like that the Joker said, "Like I'm a dog chasing a car. Like I don't know what's gonna happen once I once I catch that car. Like we're always trying to chase something. We don't know what's gonna happen once we get it." Yeah. No. Yeah. That's the. I wouldn't say that's a bad addiction to have. Um. Or do you see a like a downside to I, it? I see it. I see it as a bad addiction because it, it's hurtful to me when someone says. Man, we've missed you. You haven't been around. Oh, man, it's been so long since we've hung out. And it's like, damn. What, what has changed? What has happened? Or when you see your... Say if you don't have kids, you see your cousins. 
your cousin or say your cousins at your age, but they have kids and you're like, damn, I remember when you were a baby. Where did time go? So you're like missing out missing on a out. lot of things, missing chasing yeah. your dreams. And I think the biggest one is you see your parents and then by the time you realize, you see all the canas, you see all the white hairs and you see that their health is depreciating. And it's like, how much more do I need until I become okay and then I get to spend time? So the addiction is, like I said, addiction is bad when it's not hurting you, but when it's hurting others. And it's not physically hurt, but it's like, damn, what if I would have had more time? What if I could have more time? So like that way, like, don't get me wrong, like the, there's addictions of like, obviously like alcohol and there's like drugs and all that. And I've seen family members where, that are like uncles where, their addiction was alcohol. And basically now it's one more drop of alcohol and, and you're done. Your body can't take it. So it's like they spent all their life with this vicio that they don't have anything. And if one more drop happens, they're done. It's like, damn. So like, you know, shout out to my uncle, bro, because I've been working with him and he's been giving me just like life stories. And I've seen his change where he used to, like the, the talk has, the tres patonas. Drinking them every every day, morning, midday, night, and going to two, three rounds and not even eating, and that's all he was worried about to the point where he got sick and he can't drink no more. And now they look at him different when he says, oh, I don't want to drop, I don't want to drink. It's like he knows that if one more drink happens, that's the end of life. So everybody has their own addiction, and it's everybody can comment below like what there is. It could be something physical, like alcohol, right? When it's taking over your life and that's all you think about. Or it can be another sense where, you know, ambition is all you think about. And it could affect people around you. So that's, that's For sure. Mine. For sure. Mine. So you're pretty self-aware. I mean, at least based on, not even based on, just knowing what your addiction is. Um, which is different because most addicts don't like to accept their addiction. Yeah. And that they're addicted to a certain thing. Or even recognize is there, it. Is there a specific so, moment that made you realize, hey, I am addicted to this and it's affecting the people around me in a negative way? Um, I think just as a parent, you know, when I tell, you know, I think one of the, I had this conversation earlier where it was like, you know, traveling has been fun. We've been traveling, we've been having fun and, you know, it looks good. Mm -hmm. The heartbreak to me is I don't get to pick up my son from school. Or my son calls me and be like, Hey, Dad, where are you? Yeah. Hey, Dad, don't go to the podcast. Hey, Dad, don't go work. Or, hey, play with me. I'm like, oh. I'm sorry, dog. Like, I wish I could be there right now. And I know I should, but if I don't do this right now, then, like, when am I going to do this? And, you know, that's why, like, yesterday I posted, like, me saying bye to my older son is, like, you know, my son's four, but he's so knowledgeable and he's so aware where it's like, hey, I was like, hey, Papa, like, I'm going to work. Daddy, but play with me. And I'm like, Daddy's going to go work so I can buy you everything you need. Even though what you want isn't physical and to be bought, but, you know, Daddy's going to have a big house for us. Daddy's going to have the car that you want, you know, so... I think it's just awareness is dope, bro, but when you come into a lifestyle where it's like more, 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 there's never enough. And sometimes you, the price that you pay is doesn't have a price tag anymore. I think also like there's certain things that you just don't get back because time waits for nobody. Yeah. So it's like, do, you, do I, you know, bust my ass and do all this or I mean... How yeah. much time am I going to get, you know, with my kids at a certain age? Yeah. There's moments that you're never going to get back. Like, time waits for nobody. Nunca se arrepiente. So, you, it's like a little bit of a fine line yeah. because it's, it's, <laughs> está cabrón. Yeah. Está it's cabrón. Just, you know, you got to weigh out your options. Yeah, no, for gotta, sure. You got to see with the benefit and yeah. then obviously the consequences. And at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all adults. You make an action, you be good with the consequence, good or bad. That's the problem with it when that's my sanity is when I 
do an action. If people see me do something, I am very well aware of my consequence, and I'm okay with it right now. You know? It's, I don't regret it. Oh, you do regret it? I don't. I, ch- I chose it. I chose I that. Chose this. Mm-hmm. I chose this. I'm an adult. I'm very knowledgeable. I chose this. Just like when, say, some people have tattoos, and they're like, oh, no, I fuck, I want to take this off. This, this, this. You ask me, I don't regret nothing. I knew what I did. I know what I have. It's all a part of me. So it's like, there's not one thing in my life where I regret because, yes, I could have done better, but because I did all this, I am who I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, why are you so confident? I had to go through it. I had to go through this. So everybody just has to go at their own pace at the end of the day. So <sighs> what are you choosing? Green, <laughs> yellow, red? What are you choosing? Nah, back to my red flags. Because <laughs> <laughs> they love the red flags. <laughs> Wild card. This is like cringe. Laugh for five minutes together. <laughs> That's not a question. That's not a question. <laughs> and says, trust me, nobody wants to hear me laugh. <laughs> laugh for five minutes together? I, it says to fake the laugh for five minutes and see who catches on. <laughs> on the good question. Question. All right. Do you think that you take good care of yourself? I mean, it's pretty sim- like straightforward. I feel like I, I do. Like I uh, in every area, not just the physical, going to the gym and showing up. Any yeah, like mentally, like emotionally, mentally, nah, physically. <laughs> like, <no. laughs> like, I get so many issues. <laughs> mentally, no, but like preparing myself to be the best that I can, physically and just nutrition wise, and just like, like oh, like I know I have a big day tomorrow. I'm not gonna be drinking tonight, right? Yeah, or like just preparing myself to be in a better opportunity. Mentally, I will hope I won't, could be better, but, I mean, that's like a work in progress. Do you feel like you take care of yourself in the way that you know you should, which is, you know, your physical part, obviously, it's needed as a human being and to be able to live life comfortably, but as also a human being aware of his emotions, where you know you have demons, you have voices in the back of your head that speak, and sometimes I speak a little louder. Do you feel like you take care of yourself on the emotional aspect your mind, body, and soul to be able to be the best version of yourself to your parents, your little brother? I uh, I try to be. You know, like, I take myself on walks. I take myself to get uh, on coffee, coffee dates, work, honestly, like that. But, I mean, there's just times where it's just, like, I just ease my way by. by. Like, I, there's no way, oh, I'm going to flip the switch, I'm good. Yeah. But just doing little things like like that, like taking myself on walks, going get coffee, just uh, doing like leisuring stuff, you know. Yeah. So it's just a work in progress. But I feel like I do need to take care of myself better, as le- at least mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I think the physical you got down. Yeah, the physical definitely there. Damn. All right, Jack, Jack, here we go. My turn. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it colorful with the yellow one. Okay, okay. Was it my turn? Oh, it is my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I think this is what the last last, last one. Last last one. This is the last one. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay. Um, tell me if this isn't something that we've already kind of answered. What is your biggest fear in life, and why does it frighten you? Yeah, we answered. Yeah, we answered. We it. did. Go we ahead. did. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We have no fear. I was like, that's, we have no fear. That was a wild card. So. Still get to the trust fall. Oh. I know. <laughs> Did we answer? What is your biggest regret in life? I think we have. We have. Okay. If you listen to other podcasts. All right. Yeah, I feel like this. some of these questions. What are you most grateful for? Have we answered that? We're always so sad. Don't I know. We're always <laughs> so sad. We're always so good with the sad stuff. So, okay. what well, am I grateful for? What and who are you most grateful for? Who and what? Um. <laughs> who? What am I most grateful for? Mm, okay, I have two answers to that, not being like the Leo that I am. But <laughs> I say I am so grateful for the opportunities and the chances that I've taken that I haven't been unsure, that I've been a little unsure of, but I took it anyways, and it's led me to what I'm doing now. I'm grateful that I did that, and that's on my part. Um, who am I grateful for? Um, just honestly... My, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Like my the people who have accepted me for who I am, 
genuinely and organically. Like the ones that like see all the sides of me and they're just like, still, I'm going to pick her. Mm. That's who I'm grateful for. So my answer in a nutshell. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Debbie's in the chat for that one. Yeah, yeah, Ah, yeah. Last one, baby. Do yellow. yellow. Do the yellow one? Yeah. Who or what has changed your life? I think I've answered that one countless times. If you answer, change it, change it. Change it up, change it up. Also can be out. No, I've answered that one before. Are you living the life of your dreams? I think, uh, no. <laughs> I've answered that before, though. Yeah, Have you? Okay. Sense, yeah, it's, I mean, okay. different wording, but yeah. Okay. What is the best advice you have ever received? Hmm. Just to believe in yourself. And it sounds super cliche and all this, all this crap, but honestly, just believing, just believe in yourself. That's probably the best advice I've ever received. And what's the worst piece of advice you ever received? Maybe not advice, just you can't do that. I think that was the worst. Like people like us don't live like that. Like it's unattainable, you know? Like doubting you? Like doubting. Mm. And it's worse when it comes from the parents. Like I know. Like it's a, like don't even try it. Just stay there. Like what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? That's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, what's the point if you're going to fail? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Last one, baby. We're going to redo it. It's going to be even better. We're going to do it. It's cheating. Twice because it was so nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're trying to live my trauma twice. (laughs) (laughs) Remember, you can keep it short and sweet. (laughs) Who is the closest person you have lost? Mm. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep it short and sweet. Um, just this person, um, it, it, they have meant the most to me, and it's unfortunately that it's lost, but I just want to say that I, uh, I forgive them, and, and I'm sorry as well. It, just say we told Jack, Jack, if today was that last day you were to see them, what would you tell them? What would be that message to them? Um... Uh, I would just say, like how I like how I just said, like I, I, I forgive them, forgive them for the wrongs, I forgive them for the, the things that has happened, and that um, at the end of the day, I wish it was. I wish we would have been lost, throughout the whole process. I wish it would just come out Damn. at the other side, you know, like the, the, the I know the grass isn't greener on the other side. The grass could be greener if it was watered properly. Dang, so dang. <laughs> Where did, what happened to the card? Where's it at? Where's it at? The card? Yeah. yeah. This is in Las Tuyas. Oh, right here. Literally in front of him. <sighs> no, it was upside down. All right. Um, what is the darkest thought you've ever had? It was suicide. It was, how about I stop everybody's pain of letting them down? And stop my own pain for being that disappointment and be gone. Why not now? You know? Why keep trying when things are not going right? Or I keep getting reminded how I'm not okay? Or why I keep going when I'm constantly reminded of I'm not enough? And um, it sucks, man. And, it, and it's tough. And it's a battle that, you know, we battle. I battle sometimes more than a lot more than ever. But... I think a, a great person during my life just told me that, you know, it's the peop- you're not the one that suffers. It's the people that stay after. That person was wise as hell. It's, you know, it could be your parents. It could be your loved ones. It could be your kids. Um, you know, they need you. And there's no bigger disappointment than a parent outliving their kid. And, um, you know, keep going. Life gets better, a lot better moments. You know, if you feel like sometimes you're not worth it or you're not enough or you're not going to ever be enough, keep going. I promise you, you are. And all it is is take it day by day, moment by moment. 
he said, well, it's going to get better. So it's a, I understand we have those struggles and a lot of people in our generation, in our time have those daily, daily struggles, but Hey, you're worth it. And if no one has told you yet, you are enough. You are worth it. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are everything in this world, what this world needs. And if no one has told you, I need you. So just keep fighting. You will win the battle. And then you will win that war. So (laughs) episode 165. 166. 166. 166. 166. Here we go. Twist him, my boy. Episode 166. All thanks to the one and only Miss Jack Jack for bringing in this amazing yeah. card game. Yeah, a little game. Thanks for li- reliving my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. I don't like Anytime. it. Anytime. Everybody that was on this live chat with us on TikTok, we got to 58,000 lives. Yay. Yay. Everybody that that gave gifts, everybody that shouted us out, everybody that stayed in tune with all the conversations and the questions. Salute to you guys. Much love to you guys. Any last messages to anybody? To you yourself, to your future self, to the fans, to the supporters. Yo les digo, it's summertime. Have a little fun. Go outside. Enjoy yourself. Do something for yourself that you like. Doesn't have to be that crazy, but have a little fun. It'll be good for you. When this, when this episode airs, I'll see you guys in Utah. I'll be competing in nationals. Yee! All I'm hearing is we're going to Utah. Oh, we're, we're going, going to Utah. Utah. I don't know what's Utah. in Utah. How it is. Utah. We're going to Utah. <laughs> the podcast is going to Utah. Hey, classy yeah. creations. Oh, classy creations. Shout what was the question? Jack Jack. Shout out to Pepe. What was the question, though? I need <laughs> All right. Creations out of class <laughs> creations. Last one. We got a little bit of time. Hurry. What's the question? I know. Last, oh my God. La yeah, última. Ahí vamos. La última y nos vamos. Glassy, where are we at? Where are we at? I can't find it. Can't Classy. find it. Well, if we can't put it on the podcast, we'll answer it live right now. So it's just a live podcast. That's right. Most authentic, most organic, organic. podcast in the world. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>